This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. What's going on guys? This is Vinylic Puma and today I'm back with another Fallout 4 Far Harbor DLC weapon analysis, review, and location video. And today we're going to be looking at the meat hook. Now remember like all of the other videos in this particular series, um, these are on the normal variants and not on the unique variants. Uh, the meat hook has a unique variant which is the butcher's hook. Now the butcher's hook has a relentless legendary weapon effect. So basically what it does is when you get a kill, it refills the critical meter. Today I'm going to be focusing on this weapon without perks and talk about its viability for both normal, survival mode and more so let's go ahead we'll get into the weapon stats and I'll discuss my observations with you and I'll give you guys a final verdict on whether this is a gun you should use or not so the meat hooks damage ranges from 28 to 35 unarmed melee damage now keep in mind this is at four strength with no other perks or stat boosts from say magazines or something like that now all unarmed weapons have a medium attack speed so naturally the meat hook also has a medium attack speed the weight of the meat hook ranges from about 2 to 2.4 pounds and the value ranges from 32 to 41 bottle caps now, like I said earlier, all unarmed melee weapons have a medium attack speed, so there's nothing really special there. Um, now, this weapon matches the Power Fist's base damage. Now, keep in mind, that is the normal Power Fist, not to be confused with the Furious Unique variant of the Power Fist that drops from Swan. That weapon also has the Puncturing upgrade for it, and I am talking about the normal upgrade for the power fist. If you got both and you stuck them together, the base model meat hook and the base model power fist, they're both gonna have 28 damage at four strength. However, both the death claw and power fist exceed the damage of the meat hook when fully upgraded. However, the meat hook does weigh half of what the power fist does when fully upgraded and roughly one fifth of what the death claw gauntlet weighs both when and not fully upgraded. Now, the upgrade requirements for the meat hook are extremely low. You don't need any perks to upgrade this weapon, which is really good. And you only need three steel and one adhesive. Assuming you could get one early enough on in your playthrough, if you are an unarmed player, uh, the meat hook would be a great choice because you don't need any blacksmith perks or anything like that to upgrade it. I think this is important to mention because in terms of raw damage, the meat hook is better than both the brass knuckles and boxing gloves. And really, this is a very powerful unarmed weapon when you consider its weight. Now, the meat hook weighs 2 to 2.4 pounds and deals 28 to 35 damage this means you're dealing 14 to 14.5 damage per pound uh, you compare this to the death claw gauntlets 35 to 43 damage at 10 and 12 pounds and you're getting a 3.5 to 3.6 damage per pound value you also compare this to the power fists 28 base damage 42 with the puncturing mod uh, and then 28 plus 20 with the heating coil mod and you also consider that the falling weights for those are 4, 5.5 and 4 again you're getting 7 damage per pound 7.6 damage per pound and provided both the melee and energy damage are added together for that heating coil version you're getting 12 damage per pound. The meat hook would actually be better to use because of its low weight, uh, more so than like the death claw gauntlet, which weighs like 12 pounds or something like that, even though you're hitting a bit harder. And with the stock death claw gauntlet, you're hitting as hard as the upgraded meat hook. Really, the only disadvantage that I think that the meat hook has is that because um, all unarmed weapons can't be used with power armor, you naturally can't use the meat hook. Uh, with power on it. However, as a final end game best weapon or whatever for an unarmed build, you are really still going to want to go with the Furious Power Fist simply because, for one, it's got that really good legendary effect, and two, 
Um, the Power Fist really is still the best unarmed weapon in Fallout 4. That said, the Meat Hook is also one of the cheapest unarmed weapons to upgrade, both in terms of resources and the fact that no perks are required to fully upgrade this thing. It's also relatively cheap because of base value of like 32 to 41 is pretty low and I think if you're a low end character like somehow you get to the Far Harbor DLC at level 10 or something like that I mean you could basically buy a meat hook you could upgrade it for like nothing and then you could use it for a while until you're brave enough to kill Swan uh, and then you could just uh, use uh, the Furious Power Fist for the rest of the game. I think that the meat hook could be a good weapon for unarmed stealth builds and might go really well with the ninja perk because weight does have some effect on your ability to sneak in Fallout 4. Anyway guys, I think that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. Uh, I'm going to have some more Fallout videos coming. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, what I'm going to do next kind of uh, a little bit of a secret. but. Um, be looking forward to it, um, but as always, like this video, please be sure to leave a like. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.